Welcome to Positive News, presented by Adam Silla by Black Economics. So what is positive news? When we think of news, we almost think something negative all the time. And you know what they say, bad stories sell good. But what if there is a lot of positive news out there and we just can't find it? Luckily for you, that's my job, to present you with some of the positive news this week to brighten up the day. Our first story is rewriting masculinity with youth leader. A year on from Sarah Edwards' tragic death by policeman Wayne Cousins, Charity organisation Beyond Equity have been working with schools, colleges and universities all across the UK, reshaping ideas about masculinity. After taking several surveys in different schools, Ben Hurst, a member of Beyond Equity, realised that most boys had a stereotypical view of masculinity. When asked which ideas they attach with masculinity, they came up with things like breadwinner, strong and penis. Dodie's results may be shocking. Hurst believes it is drawing out these misconceptions that allows to alter them. In an interview, he said, how do they feel about crying? Why is it better to punch someone who embarrasses them rather than talking to them? By asking these questions, he aims to debunk certain myths concerning masculine behaviour and show them that a peaceful approach isn't necessarily a weak or unmanly approach. These workshops have been successful, with many men saying their views on gender has been shaped or changed in a way that is positive. Though Hurst's work is centered on men, he does not neglect women when doing his workshops. In a lot of them, he will ask girls to join to explain what makes them feel more comfortable and safe around men. And so the fight against gender-based violence continues. Our next story is Archaeus Architecture is helping fight back against COVID-19. In the last two years, COVID has swept across the UK. There's been pandemics, financial difficulties, and many, many lockdowns. In his new book, Architecture and Anarchism, Building Without Authority, Paul de Berkesey argues that anarchism can help build a safer, fairer, and greener environment in the UK. When the word anarchy is mentioned, we think of places like Slab City in California. We picture barren wastelands with no social life, but Paul believes it can encourage individual liberty and change in social interactions. Paul maintains that self-government can bring in a state of order. But how does this help us build back after COVID, you may ask? Well, that's where we're going. In 2019, the government released its post-COVID-19 recovery plan. Paul said, with its emphasis on securing economic growth, the report completely fails to address the catastrophic environmental consequences of such an approach. He maintains that anarchism would help reshape political values by introducing values such as mutual aid, self-organization and voluntary association, the people of Britain will form much more involvement in the fight against COVID-19 and will unite them with the government as opposed of, to them being against it. Africa's solution to fight plastic pollution. Entrepreneurs in Africa are finding new solutions to plastic pollution, turning plastic into house bricks, designer textiles and cooking fuel. By converting plastic to bricks, cooking fuel and textiles, African entrepreneurs believe that this is the start of a revolution against plastic pollution. Last week, the shortlist for Afri Plastic Award was announced. The competition is an aim to aid African entrepreneurs who are fighting against plastic pollution. Afri Plastic offers whooping prizes, and we're going to tell you some of them. A buyback scheme in Kenya enabling women to make money by recycling plastics. A project in Rwanda that will make school benches from plastic waste and also a Nigerian project that will turn plastic into textiles. To promote, to promote more of this, there'll be a chance to win £100,000 to those who present more ideas to combat plastic pollution. The Afri Plastics Challenge is supporting the most promising sub-Aaron African innovators to refine and scale local ideas to have an impact on the continent. Well done, Afri Plastics. 
And lastly, on our story in positive news, world leaders find historic resolution on plastic. Despite this month seeing the beginning of the war in Ukraine, we are still seeing unity amongst nations. 175 nations came together and did a strike that has been, in their own words, the most significant environmental deal since the Paris Accord. Head of states and ministers of environment met in Nairobi at the UN Environment Assembly and agreed on resolutions to end plastic pollution. They are now currently negotiation, negotiating an international treaty to be intact by 2024. Against the backdrop of the geopolitical turmoil, the UN Environment Assembly shows cooperation at its best. Although Marco Lambertini, the Director General of WWF International, is pleased with the work, he says there is still a long way to go in the battle against plastic pollution. He says, world leaders must now show even more resolve in developing and implementing a treaty which addresses our current plastic pollution crisis and enables an effective transition to a circular economy for plastic. Well, that's everything on positive news. Hope to brighten up your day with some good news and we hope you have a great day. Goodbye.